Hello everybody. Today we are going to start building my Halloween takeover toy box. And essentially, <laughs> we have to build two versions of this, right? The initial version and the transformed version. And whenever you build a toy box like this that completely transforms, I think it's a good idea to focus on one version at a time. So we're going to focus on the initial version first. This is the pristine version of our miniature Disneyland, the way it's supposed to look. And once we have that version, then we'll work on transforming it. But before we start building, we need to take a quick look at the toys that we're going to use to transform this toy box. Uh, because these toys are going to place some limitations on what we can and cannot build especially since we want to be able to restore the initial version of the toy box at the end of the adventure. So the first toy that we're going to need is the Sky Changer. And you find this in the Instant Fun category. And there aren't really any limitations with this toy. We can easily change the sky whenever we want, and it will not affect the toy box at all. The second toy that we need is the Theme Transformer. And once you purchase this from the toy store, you find it here in the Creativa Toys drawer. And if you've never used this toy and you don't know much about it, you should check out episode 90 of my Toy Box tutorial series. This toy allows you to dynamically change the theme of any customizable building pieces in your toy box. That includes uh, terrain. <laughs> and let me just show you some of the things it does. So the terrain, the plant clusters, which are the first nine pieces in the plants drawer. So all of these pieces here that I'm highlighting. Um, basic blocks and rail slides and racetracks and more. The catch is that it will transform all of it. So if you want to change the terrain theme, for example, it will change all of the terrain in your toy box, which means that if we want to be able to change the theme and then restore the toy box at the end, then we can only use one terrain theme for the entire toy box. We can't use grass in one place and stone in another. And this is one of the things I did not like about the original version of this toy box from 2019. Let me pull up that footage again that I showed you last time. Notice the terrain is all the same. It's all brown and it looks pretty bland. Now, there are some things we can do about this and we'll talk about that as the build progresses. For, but for right now, I want you to be aware that this is a limitation that we have to work with. We can only use one theme for the terrain, one theme for the plant clusters, one theme for the rail slides, and so on. Now the theme transformer will allow us to change a lot of things, but not everything. There are a lot of building pieces that cannot be themed that I want to change, like the Main Street USA buildings, the set pieces for the rides, and so on. And so for that we need a third toy, and that is the replayer. We can use this toy to remove certain building pieces that cannot be themed and replace them with other building pieces. But this toy has limitations too. <laughs> There's only so many pieces we can put down with a replayer, which means we cannot replace everything. So we have to be very selective about what we choose to replace. And we'll talk about that more in a few episodes when we get to that point. But for right now, let's focus on building our miniature version of Disneyland. And what I want to do today is put down all of the terrain and start framing in the toy box. I think that'll be a good first step. Oh, and by the way, here's what you're going to need to build this toy box. You need the two toy box customization power disks shown here. The one on the left is Jack's Scary Decorations. This gives us the Halloween theme for the terrain and the customizable plant clusters. The one on the right is the Halloween Town Sky, which gives us the spooky sky. And you've got to have both of these discs, or you will not be able to build this toy box. You're also going to need the Toy Box Speedway expansion game in order to unlock many of the Halloween Town building pieces that we're going to use. 
All right, so as we get started, the first thing I want to do is put down the Halloween Town sky. So I'll put that base, that uh, disc on my base. And this is going to help us orient the toy box, and that's all I'm really doing with this at this point. So when the player enters the toy box, I want them to see the iconic hill over there with the moon behind it. So the toy box, by default, is oriented in the correct direction, and that's good. So I like that. So let me take that disc back off the base, and for right now we'll just put down the basic sky again. All I needed to know was that the <laughs> toy box orientation was correct. So we'll use the Disney Castle sky. And you can use any daytime sky you want. We'll just use this one because I think this works well. All right, for our single terrain theme for the entire toy box, I'm going to use toy box terrain. I will set this to be my theme. All right, this is a good cobblestone type theme that works well in the park. And I actually want to rotate this, but I can't pick this up until I put down another piece of terrain here. So let me do that. And we're going to go ahead and keep that uh, initial piece of terrain that we're given. And I'm going to put down this one. And I want to orient it like this so that the IN in the middle of the circle there, the infinity logo is facing us. And I want to rotate this piece now to match. And try to give as much as possible the same orientation to all of the terrain. I think that's helpful. All right, then we'll put down a couple of small blocks in here. And I want to line this up centered on that as best I can. We'll put down two of these and we'll delete the middle one here. I just did that so I could get the spacing here for this one. Okay, so this is the one where the central hub of the park is going to be. And um, we'll put down another one over here. Put down a couple more of these over next to it. This will be where Tomorrowland is. And uh, we'll put down a row of these along the end. Because Space Mountain is a huge piece. <laughs> we got to have space for that. All right. And then the bridge over to Disney, uh, uh, the Disneyland Castle will be over there. And I kind of like a little bit of a river here. So we're going to scroll over. And I'm not sure which way is the fastest way to get there, but we'll go this way. These aren't going to be the prettiest looking river pieces because of the terrain theme that we chose, unfortunately. And so what we will do is put these down below. So I'm going to line these up. See, we'll line this one up with the corner over here. We're going to go down one, two, three nudges, so about halfway down. And this will be the moat going over. And by putting it down below a little bit, it won't be quite as uh, noticeable. Actually, by the time the player gets over to this point, um, <laughs> the terrain will have been transformed anyway, so this river won't look quite like this. But once the park is restored, it's going to look a certain way. It's going to look like this. Alright, so four of those, one of these. And then back up to the same height as over there. And uh, curve. And that piece will go in there like 
like that. Alright, so there is the river pieces. And while we're right here with these pieces, let's put down the floating waterfall. Just give this a nice decorative edge here on the end. Okay. And then we'll pick this piece up, put it back, bring this over and put it right in here like that. And then we'll fit some of these pieces around the perimeter. Build a little bridge here that will take us over to the area where the Matterhorn is. Just pick that up so I make sure I get the orientation of the block the same with the uh, little infinity logo in the circle facing us. Okay, so there, the park is starting to take some shape. Now, uh, let's go ahead and grab this. For Frontierland, we're going to line up with the end of this river piece here, like that. Flip that around so we can see that logo, and there we go. All right, so there is all of the terrain for the park. And as you see, it's very, very brown, and there's a lot of it. <laughs> and again, this is what I did not like about the original version of the toy box. So let's start uh, adding in some things to try to break all of this up. And there's a number of toys that are available for us to do that. Uh, we have some floor pieces here in the basic blocks. Because again, we can't use any more terrain with a different theme on it, but we can put down floor pieces, both this large one and this small one, and we can theme those for grass or a bunch of different stone themes or something different. Under decorations, we have these sidewalk pieces, which can be very helpful to try to break up all of this uh, pattern here. There's also some sidewalk pieces in Building Sets Group 2, I believe. Um, not quite sure exactly where those are. We also have railings that we can use, which aren't appropriate for this toy box, but they might be for something else you decide to build. They cover up a little bit of the ground below them as well. I thought there was a sidewalk piece in here, but I'm not seeing it now. It must be elsewhere under the decorations. But it's a basically a big white piece of sidewalk that is about the shape of four of these square. And then we also have racetrack pieces, and we're going to use some of these right now to try to break up all of this. So the first one we're going to put down is right here on this seam. And we'll change the theme on this. And again, it's a good idea, especially if you want to re-theme this when you transform the toy box, to just use one theme for your roads. Now for us, we're not going to do that. I'm going to use the Pirates theme. I'll set that to be my theme. As you can see, this breaks this up pretty good. And you can orient it this way if you want, or that way. I'm going to put it down that way. And we'll put a second one down like this. And so that helps break this up quite a bit. And this particular theme works really well, not just with the basic toy box here, the pristine version, but also it works well for the... Um, 
transformed version too. So I like that. So I'm actually not going to change this theme. For the central hub in Disneyland, we'll use these pieces. Now you could retheme this if you chose in your own toy box. There's nothing wrong with that. I personally didn't care for the theme that was uh, that comes with the Halloween Town terrain theme. So I chose to just use what I got here. But uh, yeah, I think I'd rather flip that around. I think it's going to look better if we do it that way. Yeah, because that lines up better with the curves. What about this one? I think that's the same for that one. We need to flip that around. And that one's fine. Okay, so there's that. And then we'll pick this long piece up again. Come over here on the end of this medium piece. I'm going to put two of those down going into Tomorrowland. And then we'll put some down over here as well going into Frontierland. You see that helps break that up quite a bit. It's not looking quite so plain now, which I like. Uh, by the way, there's some terrain I want to put down over there, too. So let me grab this piece to get back to that part of the terrain drawer, and we'll keep going left. And I'm looking for a large rounded cliff. Just to make this look a little bit more finished on this end. Oops. There we go. <laughs> Put it up against there. That looks a little bit more like a floating island, which is good. All right, now the bridge looks extremely flat, so I think we need to add some dimension to that. So for that, we're going to go up to the basic blocks. And we're going to use this piece, this long block. And you can use the equivalent um, terrain block, same size, and theme it with toy box terrain. But I think this will add some extra color that we desperately need here. So I'm going to set this to castle brick. That'll better match the road. Oops, didn't mean to push that button. And that gives you something besides all that brown to look at. We'll do that over here at this bridge as well. And we don't really need to fill in the underside because the player is probably not going to see that. Unless something happens and they fall down there. Uh, they'll never see it. I don't have, uh, in this new version, I don't have any reason to go down there. Okay, that's looking kind of nice. All right, let's put one down here as a spacer. And let's put down the sidewalk for Main Street USA. And for that, we're going to go to the decorations. And we're going to use these sidewalk pieces. And um, I'm going to start with this piece right here. Put one on the other side of the uh, of the road there as well. And 
And then for these, we'll just kind of go all the way down. Okay. So you can see this is already starting to look a little bit more detailed, and it's breaking up a lot of this brown. And I know this sidewalk is also brown, but it's a little bit different shade of brown. And I think that's helpful. And uh, for right now, we'll just run this down. I think when we put the Main Street USA buildings in here, we might tweak that a little bit. There we go. We can take this out. And, uh, oh, I want to do the same thing over here that we did on the other side. Because the first Main Street USA building is going to sit right here. And the sidewalk needs to go somewhere, so I'm just kind of curving into the edge of the building there. There. So now we're kind of starting to break up all of that brown a little bit with some extra color make it not look quite so repetitive, and I like that. Let's see, how are we doing on time? Oh wow, we're doing pretty good. Well, let's go ahead and put in Main Street USA here, and then we'll wrap it up. So the Main Street buildings are up under Building Sets Group 3, and uh, there's a lot of them we can use. Eventually we're going to put these down with a replayer, but for right now I'm just trying to build it and figure this out. So let's not worry too much about the replayer yet. We're just going to build what we need. So we'll put those buildings in like that. And we need a little extra detail here. can't go crazy with detail if we're going to be taking these buildings in and out, but we can add a little bit of something. So I think that's kind of nice to add. It looks good and it's only one building piece. On the other side of the street, oh and by the way we have these turnstiles. Let's put one of these down here. This will be the park entrance and uh, yeah, we'll put the decorative side out, like that, so that's good. And over here, let's see, we've got so many choices. And again, this is a miniature version of Disneyland, so the idea here is not to recreate uh, with any accuracy what Disneyland looks like what the real Main Street USA looks like. The idea is, is to try to come close. We just want to give the idea that that's what this is without trying to duplicate it in any detail. So that's enough to give the impression right there. And so now as you come in here you'll see we've got the stone, we've got the sidewalk, and that helps break up all of this brown. So you're not seeing quite as much of that. And I think that looks so much better. I also like the fact that these buildings are right up to the road, just like the real Main Street USA. In the old toy box, I had the buildings way over here, and I had the buildings way over here, <laughs> with this large brown area in the middle, and it just did not look at all like Disneyland. This looks better. So I like that. Okay, I think this is probably a good stopping point for today. Next time we will add the rest of the buildings and set pieces, and if we have time we'll also add all of the plants and decorations. Until then I want to thank you for watching. Before you go, leave a comment and let me know if you're building this along with me and what you think of the build so far. Even if you don't plan to build this particular toy box, hopefully the tips and tricks that I'm sharing with you will be helpful when you want to build some other kind of toy box that transforms. And if you did find this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more toy boxes like this. That's all for me today. Take care.